This is the Darien Gap, a wide lava stretch of rainforests and rough rivers, the only 106 km section of the Pan American Highway that is still incomplete till date. The world's longest highway, almost 30,000 km, stretching all the way from Alaska down to Ushuaia, Argentina. And if you wish to complete the entire trip, starting from Alaska, it's absolutely smooth until you reach your visa, a small town at the border of the Darien Gap. To continue the journey, you will have to abandon your car and will have to walk across thick jungles, mountains, and marshlands, infested with poisonous snakes, insurgents, and truck traffickers who could kidnap or even worse, who dares to cross this patch. After surviving this long, perilous gap on foot, you would have to reach Turbo, a port city in Colombia, where the Pan American Highway resumes all the way down to Ushuaia. And surprisingly, thousands of people embark on this dangerous journey every single year to reach the United States or Canada. Thousands of migrants from the Middle East, Asia, and Africa come to countries like Brazil and Ecuador, where visa requirements are quite slack. From there, they have to go to Colombia, cross the Darien Gap in order to reach Central and North America. And these migrants have been using the Darien Gap for decades in hope to find a better life up north. You know, when you're running for your safety, you don't care what is happening to you. You don't care what is in front of you. you. Just want to have a safe ground. This place has no roads and no directions to guide along the way. And unfortunately, many of them end up becoming victims to these hostile rainforests. Some are captured by militants, some die of diseases and infections, and some even go missing forever. And it's not that it's impossible to construct a highway piercing through the gap, but there are certainly many challenges. The unique ecosystem of the Darien Gap is home to many species of wild animals and many indigenous tribes. And these challenges have always prevailed since the ideation of this project, a concept manifested by the US in the early 20th century. The notion that there should be an inter-American highway connecting 18 sovereign nations of North, Central, and South America that would strengthen transportation, adding significantly to the economic interests of these countries. But the original idea was to build a railroad proposed by the United States Congress in 1844. However, the concept was abandoned after the independence of Panama in 1903. And in the Fifth International Conference of the American States, the concept of building a highway rather than a railroad emerged. However, it's been over 60 years, the Pan American Highway is still incomplete. You see, the unique geography of the Darien Gap makes it very difficult for the authorities to construct a highway through here. The Colombian side of the gap is dominated by a huge marshland formed by the Eldorado River, which spans over a distance of more than 80 kilometers wide and the Panamanian side is a difficult mountainous rainforest with terrains reaching as high as 1,845 meters at the tallest peak called the Cerro Takarcuna. The governments had attempted to construct a road in the 1970s, but it failed after they realized it was very expensive to attempt it. Later in the 1990s, environmental concerns were raised regarding the damage it could cause to this untouched ecosystem. Despite these challenges, the Darien Gap has not been able to stop thousands of people from attempting to cross it every year. According to the UN's International Organization for Migration, nearly 250,000 people attempted to cross the Darien Gap in 2022, which is more than double the number from the previous year. But these migrants are in desperate conditions, therefore they are ready to risk everything, even their lives. Civil unrest, poverty, climate change to name a few, become the primary factors that compel them to flee their country. But unbeknownst to the extreme dangers of the Darien Gap, migrants come to the town of Nekogli at the border of the Gap where they have to spend hundreds of dollars to buy 10 days worth of food and water and to pay the guides who help them to navigate through the thick jungles up to a certain distance. But as they embark on this perilous journey with high hopes, everything starts to fall apart with each passing day. Food and water is over way before the journey ends, exhaustion stakes over, heat and humidity dehydrates quickly, and with no clean water to drink, they have to drink contaminated water from the puddles and muddy rivers. Another danger lurks in the jungles. Brutal FARC militants and drug traffickers. Many are looted and stripped of their food and water, sometimes even clothes. There are no signs and no maps to help them. Everything looks the same. 
This puts them in a very sticky situation. What should they fear the most? Insurgents, exhaustion, or getting lost in the middle of nowhere? 136 people went missing in the Darien Gap in the year 2022, never to be found again. Illegal immigration has always been a major concern for countries like the United States, and constant humanitarian efforts have to be put in place to help these people who are not just trying to get into a country, but also suffer from injuries and health issues they pick up during these journeys. And the idea of developing the Pan American Highway was to link the entire American continent that would not only reinforce transportation and industry, but would become easier to reach certain places in times of an emergency or a war situation. During the 1940s, concerned about the access to the Panama Canal in a war situation, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers began constructing a highway between Costa Rica and Panama. This piece of road became one of the founding ideas to construct a transportation link all the way up to the U.S. But during the 1920s, seeing a boom in the automobile industry, the idea for railroad network was replaced with highways. But nine years later, another roadblock emerged in executing the highway construction, the Great Depression. The economic shock that impacted most of the world lasted over a decade from 1929 to 1939. Almost after 13 years, the first phase of construction began in the 1950s from Laredo, Texas to Mexico City in Mexico. The second phase was constructed between the entire length of Central America till Panama, that spanned over a distance of 3,400 miles or 5,470 kilometers. Meanwhile, in the U.S., after President Eisenhower signed the bill for the Federal Highway Act, the construction of the U.S. Interstate Highway began almost immediately, and the U.S. part of the Pan American Highway got naturally integrated in the interstate highway system. This is the reason there is no specifically designated highway as Pan American Highway in the U.S., as all major sections of I-5, I-15, 25, and 35 travel south to the U.S.-Mexico border, merging into the Mexican part of the Pan American Highway. And the South American section of the highway from Colombia to Culon, Chile, and Ushuaia, Argentina, was completed in a similar manner. But this 106km section of the highway has always been a big political and environmental issue. You see, the Darien Gap is home to a small population of just 8,000 people of the Embera, Bunan, and the Guna tribe. Therefore, if the highway is constructed through here, it will cause a lot of deforestation, pollution, and other environmental factors that could endanger these indigenous tribes. Panama and Colombia have always lacked funds for the construction, and even the U.S. tried to fund the construction, but other Central and North American countries, especially ranch and farm owners, always opposed patching up the Darien Gap. And here is why. The foot and mouth disease, a highly infectious and a fatal viral infection predominantly affecting cattle, pigs, and other hooved animals like deers. This disease first originated in the U.S. in the 1870s and was eradicated in 1929 at the cost of $4.5 million equivalent to $122 million in today's value. However, in Mexico, a superior species of bulls were brought to Mexican farms from Brazil for breeding purposes. But these bulls were infected with the foot and mouth disease that triggered the epidemic in Mexico in 1946. As the news spread, ranch owners from Texas demanded to construct a wall between the U.S.-Mexico border to prevent animals from crossing them into the U.S. soil. So yes, the idea of building a wall is not a new one. A massive vaccination program was initiated to contain the disease and quarantine the animals as quickly as possible. Finally, after four years of constant effort, the disease was eradicated from Mexico in the year 1950. But unfortunately, the disease is still very active in parts of South America. This map from veterinary research shows active pools of foot and mouth disease around the world. And a lot of times, infected animals are required to be slaughtered in order to control the disease. Therefore, it doesn't stay only a political issue, but also becomes an ethical and an economic issue. Over the course of 60 years, political, environmental, and ethical issues have stopped the Darien Gap from being constructed. So what's the future of the Darien Gap, and is there any alternative to complete the Pan American Highway? Well, one proposed option to bridge the gap is a short ferry link from Colombia to a new ferry port in Panama, with an extension of the existing Panama Highway that would complete the highway without violating these environmental issues. However, 
past attempts to operate such a service have ended in failure because they were privately operated and failed to turn into a profitable business. Another option is to create an overpass through the Darien Gap that would not create a hurdle for the wildlife as they can pass freely under the pass. But again, it's still damaging and an easy path for infection-borne cattle to travel, which is also again a major concern. The Darien Gap since the construction of the Pan American Highway has remained a dangerous yet pristine and untouched ecosystem. And probably it's in the best interest of everyone that it remains the way it is. This is Stories Across, and thank you for watching.